Let's send it over to Peyton. A little busy morning, a lot going on, getting people out the door this morning. Busy morning. I mean, it always is, but this morning we have to deal with fog, and that's not so friendly when it comes to a morning commute. Kids at bus stops. Also, it's one of those important mornings to drive slow. Give yourself plenty of time. We've had a change since the last hour, and as a dense fog advisory has been expanded upon. We've always had one this morning. Starting at about 530, the National Weather Service went ahead and issued this, but Erie, Lorraine, and now parts of inland and Ashtabula County included. The time frame at which this is set to expire at has also shifted too. It was once at 10 a.m. We've added about two hours onto that, so it expires at noon. That doesn't mean those who are not included in this advisory won't see fog because you definitely are. It's just how dense it is in some locations right now, far below a mile from Elyria to Mansfield, all the way to Akron Canton, Youngstown too. Everywhere, though, across the area, below four miles of visibility. This will have an impact, so if you can this morning, find some patience and pack it as you head on out the door. Across the area, though, what's a little bit more of a treat for you is that our temperatures are still in the mid to even upper 40s, 50s for some of you, too. We do have some drizzle mist we're dealing with, especially on the east side this morning. That is leading to damp roadways, too, so it's just a whole lot when it comes to getting you out and going this morning. Here is a view courtesy of our ODOT cameras down in Canton. This is 77 at 62. You can see everything is still moving this morning. Danielle's told you about a few accidents. This is still possible as we head through the bulk of your morning drive. But when it comes to temperatures, they're not going to ebb and flow all too much as we head through your Wednesday. Our high temperatures will be right around what we're dealing with at this very second. The cloud cover will also stick with us. I think we start to kind of see a lift from the fog and also the mist and drizzle by about midday as we've already started to shift our wind direction. We had a southerly wind component that brought the moisture in here. Also, you can tell the moisture has been around because a whole lot of rain is just to the south of us through Kentucky, Tennessee, West Virginia, all the way up to parts of Pennsylvania this morning. And that's why we are still seeing a little mist and drizzle. It's because we've been brushed by a system. But what's separating all of this? Well, it's a stationary front and all of the rain is just kind of riding along that front. A little bit farther to the south, though, that's where the warmth is. Memphis, just shy of 70. Atlanta, just shy of 60. All the way up, though, in Minneapolis, around 20 degrees. So we are riding the dividing line here. So I think 40s are a pretty good catch as we head through the middle of the week and really the rest of the extended forecast. And your National Zymert Hour by Hour forecast, a few sprinkles early today. Cloud cover still with us midday. If you have to do anything outside and you want to avoid maybe the fog, the second half of today will be better. Come tomorrow morning, though, some of us will drop into the upper 30s and mid 30s, especially farther inland. And thanks to that switch in wind, does this switch in wind do all too much as we head through the day tomorrow? Our highs tomorrow will be just slightly cooler than tomorrow or today and for the days to come. You'll see low 40s tomorrow, mid 40s as we go through the weekend. We come closer to 50 though as we head toward Tuesday. Danielle, there's mm -hmm. a whole lot of cloud cover. It's one of those weeks. I said it the other day. I'll say it again. You gotta make your own kind of sunshine. Yeah, sunshine will be uh, <laughs> not there. Thank you. <laughs>